Hi. If you want to add custom fields, metadata fields from SharePoint in your uh, table, in your overview for collaboration better, it can be done via configuration. So you need to know the name of the fields that you want to add. In this case, we have uh, three extra uh, fields that we can add. And then we, of course, need to have the technical names. So how to get the technical names? Well, you have to go to library settings. I will open this in a new tab. And from the library settings, you can see all the fields that are there. So the field amount in Office, for instance, and that would be an X, Y, Z, and the field A, B, C. And let's all add these. You see that the column name is uh, amount in Office, but actually the field technical name is amount in Office without any spaces. Same thing for X, Y, Z. Of course, there are no spaces. So here the column name is the same. Uh, and A, B, C, it's also A, B, C. And here the field name is also A, B, C. So let's make sure we take this field name, not the column name, because they, they can be completely different. Okay, let's uh, go for the configuration. In the configuration page, just the edit page of uh, uh, your lightning page you we have a new item called custom columns and in this custom columns by comma separate uh, com, you can give a comma separated list of all the technical columns you want to see so a b c x y z is already there now i'm going to add amount in office save the uh, column okay and now the three columns will be visible in my overview over here so if i now refresh Refresh the page, of course, because there is a configuration change. And then Salesforce needs to work. Uh... So we now see that all the three fields are there. And as you can see, we use the label name uh, instead of the technical name to display. At this moment, there is not a lot of uh, items to display. But if I would change any of these values over here, and let's say that on this one, I want to have the... Uh, um, I want to have the amount in office, uh, or let's say on the on on this one, I want to say well, A B C is for instance um, insurance insurance X Y Z is for instance uh, enterprise and amount in office. Let's say that that is something like one million. Okay, a big number. <laughs> uh, okay, so why did the amount of office did not uh, sync? Did I? Uh, oh, it's not showing over here. Okay, that's something SharePoint. Uh, that is, maybe I have to refresh the page. But anyways, the values are there, as you can see. Um, and now, if I let's say that on the frame, I would also uh, do something special. Let's say that here I only fill in the X, Y, Z. And that is uh, mid market, for instance, um, small biz. Okay, so let's see, this is now also saved. And if I go back and uh, refresh collaboration button, you can see all of these values are now taken along and displayed directly into, uh, into your, uh, your user interface. So here, that makes it very easy to add uh, metadata fields from SharePoint directly into Collaboration Butter. So you even have to, you even have more an overview, a 360 degree view of your uh, SharePoint data directly from Salesforce.